Hello, uh, my name is uh, Anesu Masube. I'm a grad student here in the, in the U.S. And I'm, uh, it's a pleasure today I have the ambassador of the U.S. to Zimbabwe, Ambassador Harry Thomas. How are you? It's a pleasure to be here. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing awesome. Um, ambassador, I have a few questions for you. Sure. And I'm always biased with young people in Zimbabwe. Yes. Because I'm a young person myself. Yes. Uh, I know the U.S. has been supporting a lot of young people in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. Has the policy changed and what does the current political change in Zimbabwe say to how you support young people in Zimbabwe in terms of entrepreneurs, in terms of the students that are keeping on coming to the U.S.? Um, what's, what's, what's your take on that? Well, we're really proud. We have over 1,500 Zimbabweans studying in the United States as undergraduates, most on scholarship. Mm -hmm. We also have our Humphrey Watson fellowships, the Young African Leaders initiative all for Zimbabweans, young people under 40 who engage in these programs. You know, it's so quick. Mm -hmm. We have to really assess mm -hmm. and see where we go in the future. Mm -hmm. In really bureaucratic terms, this happened in the middle of the fiscal year. Mm -hmm. So now we have to plan for our next year's budget. Mm -hmm. How do we focus it? Clearly, we want to support young people's initiative in terms of entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. You may know that every week we have a women's forum mm. at our public affairs for young women interested in business. And most of those are led by former Yalis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the second thing we did for the, some of the Yalis after they came back, they said, you know, this was a great program, but how do we get contracts? Yes. So we set up s things with USAID mm -hmm. to teach them how to get these lucrative contracts, at least apply for it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for those. That's really important because mm -hmm. it's okay to have a great education, but if you can't translate that into monetary terms, mm -hmm. you have a challenge. So those are some of the things we're doing. That's great. That's great. Thank you so much, Ambassador. I think it's important that you say that people go on these programs, but what happens to them afterwards is, is something uh, completely different. But um, I guess young people in Zimbabwe want to know how best can they reach out to you? How best can they find out about most of these programs that the embassy is doing in Zimbabwe to support young people? We encourage them to go on our embassy website, particularly mm -hmm. the public affairs site. Click on that and they'll see all the application dates. Mm -hmm. I just myself finished reading my share of the YALI applications for next year yeah. as we're judging them. It's so difficult to judge because you have so many quality applications. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. go on our website, click, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, sure. Facebook. Someone follows me, I always follow, but the most interesting thing is the number of followers I have on Instagram and Twitter has gone up by about 30% in the last two months. Wow, and that's mostly all Zimbabwean related, followers. All related to this intervention, but more the follow-up. Now mm -hmm. they feel free. They're not afraid of associating <laughs> or asking questions. Yes. So that is a great thing. We want to encourage this. Thank you so much, Ambassador. There you had it, young people in Zimbabwe. Go to the U.S. website and check it there. Thank you so much for having us today. Thank you. Merry Christmas. All right, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.